Hey, this is Greg with World in Disorder, and today we're just looking at the PS Kook uh, Paracord Survival Bracelet. It's on Amazon. When you uh, purchase this, you're going to get two paracord bracelets. One is a little bit larger than the others. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, 23 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters, and that's uh, about 9 inches by 1 inch. The uh, little bit larger is 10 inches by 1 inch. It's 25.5 uh, centimeters by 2.5. The, um, the thing that I really like about these is, uh, and I have not seen this in any, any other paracord uh, bracelet, is the fact that they actually have bungee cord as the, uh, as the inner cord that connects the, the two ends. So it makes slipping the bracelet on super easy, super fast, easy to take off. You don't have to unbuckle it. You don't have to worry about trying to buckle, trying to get it just right and, you know, squeeze it and pinch it. Um, so uh, that's pretty neat, pretty uh, innovative. Um, I have not seen that in in any paracord bracelet that, that I've uh, that I've seen um, online another thing that I like about this um, company is that they actually send you a little sample of what the paracord is woven um, or the, the yeah the paracord is made from um, it is a seven strand nylon paracord just like you'd get anywhere else but also there is a fishing line in here as well. Let me see if I can find it. I saw it. I had it earlier. There it is. It's very fine. But you get a fishing line with it. You also get this waterproof tinder. That's cool. And I believe there's a cotton strand in here as well, and it's this yellow one right here. So you, you get your, your seven strands, your seven nylon strands. You get um, the cotton strand you get the um, fishing string and then you also get the waterproof um, tender uh, this is obviously it's, it's some kind of waxed you know waxed probably cotton string and um, so we're going to take it apart and see if we can strike it up real quick like what what i would do in the uh, survival situation is first off the bracelet's coming apart um, Let's you know, before we do this. Let's go. Let's go over the actual bracelet. So you get, you get a whistle, um, and it is actually really loud. You get the uh, the actual um, ferro rod is is right there. It's uh, what is that? Maybe an inch. Um, you get the striker on the other side, and then right here you, you get a compass. Um, I'm a firm believer in. Uh, Two is one, one is none. Um, so while I probably wouldn't be using this compass as my sole compass, I brought out um, a much more expensive compass to uh, to show you that the compass is actually reading fairly accurate. North is this way, and they are both they're both pointing toward north. Of course, you you want to lay the compass out just as flat as you can get it. And, and it's pointing north on both. So that, that works. And uh, like I said, you get two, you get two bracelets. Um, but anyways, in, in a survival situation, the paracord, is, or the paracord bracelet is coming apart for me. Um, I'm going to use the scraper. What I would do is I would use the scraper to open up 
the the fibers within the the tinder and this is going to take a second so um, i will probably pause the camera and then bring you guys back um, whenever i have it scraped and and ready to strike okay so as you can see i've uh, i've worked the tinder try to expose as many of the fibers as possible uh, in a true survival situation, you want to guarantee that you're that you have fiber. So spend the extra time, get the uh, get the tender, work your tender. You know, work the um, uh, the pieces just as fine as you can get it. You want to expose as much surface area to the sparks as as possible. So here we go. Getting sparks, just not getting not hitting the right spot. Of course, in another, in a survival situation, I would have this entire paracord bracelet taken apart and I would be using just as much uh, of the tinder as possible. So let's, um, let's try this dryer lint. I mean, this stuff should, should catch. And then we'll come back to that. Um, I don't know why it's not catching. It's, it's probably because it's just not, um, You know, it's it's a small, uh, it's small tender, and I'm trying to hit it with a little spark. Okay, so I got the dryer lint. That was a little difficult. So now I'm going to try the the tender again and see if I can just get lucky this way scrape this way so compass out I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do, because this is not working the way that it should. This is the importance of getting your tender ready. God dang. I'm going to try to hit this little fluff. Yay! All right, so there, there it is. Um, I had to fluff up the inside of the material and had to land a spark just right on it. Uh, but that's that's a given considering how small the surface area is of that little bit of tinder. But it does show you that it does work. So it catches. dryer lint pretty easily very easily and it catches the tinder with a bit of work as far as you're gonna have to scrape the uh, scrape the tinder scrape the tinder and uh, fluff it up really really good um, anyways so that's the uh, PS kook Emergency survival paracord bracelets. You can get these on Amazon. 
Really love the bungee design. Really love the whistle. Super loud. Um, the fire starter or the ferro rod and striker is pretty cool. Uh, and then knowing that you've got a length of tinder in here, waterproof tinder, as well as uh, some fishing string and then your normal seven strand paracord um, or nylon strings makes this, um, a, in my opinion, a very good value, very good pickup. Um, and like I said, if nothing else, slap it on your wrist, forget that it's there. It's super light. Uh, but in a pinch, you've got, you've got a little way to start fire. You've got a direction of travel. Uh, you've got a whistle, you know, which goes a lot further than your own voice. And you, you know, in a much worse situation, you've got some string that you can use as snares or, or um, put, put together a shelter. Um, so all in all, I think this is a really good value. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, this is Greg with World in Disorder. Um, I like to review um, less expensive items um, to see if they are worth your time and money. And uh, I think that this is this is a uh, you know two thumbs up from from me. So. Uh, appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate your likes, subscribes, uh, shares. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. So, this is my review. <laughs> um, I really like the bungee. Being able to, you know, just slide it on, slide it off. Um... The, the whistle by itself is, you know, that's priceless, being able to, to you know, blow on something and be able to, that sounds sexual. So that's my review of the PS Kook Paracord Survival Bracelets. You can get these on, god dang, Amazon.